All right, this is second grade, module three, lesson 18. And in this lesson, we're gonna be ordering numbers that are in, written in a variety of forms, standard form, unit form, word form, etc. Now, the important thing about this lesson is it is optional. Now, why is it optional? Well, it's optional because uh, we're gonna be comparing in this lesson three numbers and arranging them from least to greatest or greatest to least. But the standards say for second graders, they're only supposed to be comparing two three-digit numbers, not three three-digit numbers. And that's what makes this lesson optional. So we're supposed to compare from least to greatest, and then we'll write the numbers in standard form. So let's do problem B, because that's the one that's kind of the, the weirdest. So first number is 230. So I think many second graders can jump straight to the idea of 230. And then of course we have 213, that's pretty straightforward. And then what might be a little tricky is this last number, 20 tens and three ones. So it might be helpful to put it in a place value chart. Here's our ones, here's our tens, and here's our hundreds. Now if we have 20 tens, we know that each group of 10 tens can be uh, converted into a hundred. So 20 tens is really the same thing as two hundreds. And then we have three ones left over, so this is really 203. So if we wanted to write these three numbers in order from least to greatest, 203 is our least, followed by 213, followed by our greatest of the three numbers is 230. And that's how we're going to order the numbers from least to greatest. Now the idea of parents and teachers really is whenever you have a number that has um, more than nine of a particular unit, in this case 20 tens, you need to convert and exchange. You need to bundle 10 up for one in the next column over. And just one last example. This is optional, but let's take a look at question B. So we have seven ones and 900. So what would that look like in standard form? Well, 900 is nine, seven ones is over here, and we have no tens. Nobody mentioned anything about tens, so we're gonna put a zero there. <clears throat> Teachers, remember, sometimes in prior lessons, these zeros, what looked like zeros, were actually disks. So don't let your students get confused between disks and the number zero. Then way over here, we've got 970. That's already in standard form, so that's cool. We'll just leave that alone. Now let's take a look at 79 tens plus 10 more tens. Well, the important thing is 79 tens plus 10 more tens, that's 89 tens. So if we want to model that using place value disks, here's our ones, here's our tens, Here's our hundreds, 89 tens. Well, 80 tens gives us eight hundreds, and nine tens is left over, nine tens. Did we mention anything about the ones? Nope, that means there are no ones. So we have 890. So now we're able to arrange it from greatest to least. All right, so who's the greatest? It's going to be 970. Who's the greatest? 970. And who's next? 907. And the least is 890. So we did all this work, and it turns out it's the least of the three numbers. And that wraps up second grade, module three, lesson 18, an optional lesson where we are comparing numbers, and we were comparing three numbers uh, compared to the standards, which is only comparing two numbers.